Okay, this is the second part of the uh, Nevada PSW30H switch mode power supply, which you're seeing here in front of you. I'm sorry, uh, the uh, lighting conditions at this time of night here are not very good. And I'm using the uh, cell phone for the video. But um, I've been testing it for the last two hours. And I've tried it on HF on the 7062G, which is next door. And uh, also on the, uh, I've been running it on the uh, FTM 100 um, FM radio and C4 FM. And I've been talking to a local radio ham. And we've been running it on full power, which uh, is roughly between somewhere between 40 and 50 watts. And I have to say, it is not really, in terms of noise and fan noise which is important to a lot of radio amateurs, it's not really edged above what you're hearing now. There is a continuous fan. Now, for somebody that likes a silent PSU, that might be annoying. Uh, but for me, it's perfectly all right. If you found this, if you find the fan noise annoying, I mean, if I find it annoying, I'd probably put it under the bench here. That I've got a shelf under the bench here. I'd probably put it underneath there so that the fan noise is less. But um, if you turn up the volume on the radio, it really isn't a problem. It's very, very quiet, really. So uh, on to. Uh, the receive side of it. it does this thing make any noise through the radio just hang on a minute oops so there is it we focused in g0 bdr m0 twa michael are you hearing me sir can you give me a report on the signal and if you're getting any noise via the psu if you're hearing any noise uh, buzzing, vibrating, vibrating or otherwise back to you g0 bdr m0 twa Hello David, M0 TWA G0 BDR here. No, there's uh, no unwanted noise, it's very good, very quiet. It's not uh, the sweet mode power supplies, can be a bit of a nuisance sometimes, but uh, that particular one you've got is excellent. And um, it depends where you put it on. Got all that pansy nowadays on the fan noise. Uh, if it's somewhere out of way, you don't notice it so much. If you've got it stood next to the rig, it's a different matter. No, it's excellent. G0 BDR. Okay, then, Mick. Well, we've tried it on HF earlier on, and I can't find any sproggies up and down the bands. I mean, it's got a, um, it's got a noise offset control on it so that you can move it but um, in terms of HF I'm probably not in the best location because I've got quite a bit of noise in terms of domestic RF anyway and that's from the uh, the neighbours houses but um, I think if I, f if I find that I've got um, a sproggy or uh, a bit of noise that I can move with the noise offset I'll probably do a uh, a second video to show that anyway anyway thank you michael for the report it's nice to include you here on the uh on the review video i didn't want to leave you out you know keep make you inclusive i know it's very important to you <laughs> g0 bdr m0 twa yeah g0 bdr yes i like to do reports it's, it's interesting in case you uh you come across one myself and you know a bit about them and you're confident to buy them with knowing that uh, the ones you've seen there's been no problems with I says no worse than um, um, some power supplies not really designed for amateur radio use especially the switch mode ones but you know how it is you're um, you take a chance, but that sounds fine anyway, uh, back to you. 
Okay then, Mick. I'm struggling a little bit with the autofocus on this uh, phone where it's quite dark here in the shack. Cheers for now. Thank you for the report, Michael. I'll wrap it up here on this side. M0, TWA. So there you go. That's it. It's um, I've All the time I've been running high power and it, it's not making very much noise at all. Which goes along with some of the um, reviews that I saw on Amazon about this uh, particular power supply. It's very, very quiet. So there you go. If you want a quiet power supply, this is the one. Um, this is only at about 40, 50 watts. Where it'll do at 100 watts, I'm not quite sure. But if it was too noisy, um, you could always put it under, the, under a desk or put it inside the cupboard, as I would probably do. And um, the formative dimensions that I gave to you, I've got it raised here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But if you were to add a centimetre for the feet on the power supply, and also perhaps a centimetre and a half on the terminals at the rear of the power supply, the dimensions are good that I gave previously, which uh, I forgot to add those dimensions. But uh, it's a, uh, a generic power supply with Nevada stamped on it. It must come in other, other brand names, and uh, I can report that it's very good. David M0 TWA. Cheers for viewing. Bye bye for now.